Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTubers. It is I, your host, Brooding Gamer, here for a potential toy hunt. And the reason I say potential is because supposedly some of the new Dino Tracker collection are beginning to show up at certain stores. I have heard that Dino Trackers are showing up at Target, but they're also supposedly a Walmart exclusive. I'm not sure. Uh, just going based off of Collect Jurassic, it seems that a lot of them are showing up only at Walmart or will be showing up at Walmart in winter of 2023. But there are pictures circulating around of some of them showing up on end caps at Targets. So we're going to do what we do best, get our way over to Target, and uh, see if we can find anything interesting. And if we can, cool. And if not, well... We're going to keep looking. So join me as we look, or as I should say, as we track down some dino trackers. Let's go. I tend to be very cautious with my toy hunts when it comes to like Walmart and Meyer. Um, I just, I feel like Walmart and Meyer are really bad about putting things out on time. Uh, when Jurassic World Dominion toys started dropping, we would find several of them at Target and then absolutely nothing at Walmart. And then there was that incident we ran into with the early drops where things were being released far too early and were still steel and were still register locked. And for those of you who are probably new to the channel, if you don't know what a register lock is, a register lock is when something, let's say, is releasing on June 18th. I believe that was one of the dates for something. So let's say something drops on June 18th, but you go to your local Target or Kmart, apparently there's still Kmarts around, go to your local store that sells toys, and you find that item that releases on June 18th, but you're looking at it in like uh, March. It's been really, it's on the shelf several months early. You know, let's go more like April or May. That makes more sense. Um, you're seeing it on the shelf. It may even have a price tag or it may not, but it's sitting there. So you grab it, you run up to the front, and unfortunately, when you go to scan it, it'll pop up with a, you know, like a big exclamation point. I've had that happen. And it'll say something along the lines of, please see cashier. You'll go up there and then they'll look at it and, eh, you know, it's like, oh, this shouldn't be on the shelf. I had that incident in Meyer. actually is one of our first few toy hunt videos where I found the Giganotosaurus, the colossal Giganotosaurus, and a few other dinosaurs, and I took that up to the front cashier real quick. I was very excited, heart beating out of my chest, just to find out that um, it was still register locked. So it was put out far too early, and I think I got somebody in a lot of trouble, and that wasn't my intentions. But at the same time, maybe you should read before you put things out. As someone who used to work in retail, you got to pay attention to that stuff. Yeah, it, it, it can get you in a lot of trouble. But hopefully we won't run into any of that. So, yeah. We're almost a target. I'll stop yapping. And I will see you guys here in just a second. time of year where everything is busy and I am now back to looking like a weirdo talking to myself in the middle of a grocery store looking for things so <coughs> oh goodness yay weird me okay everybody so we have actually gotten very lucky today uh we have found one thing and I mean one thing that is the dino trackers and that is this stegosaurus here 
I don't think he makes any noise, but gigantic tracker. That is actually really flipping cool. And the very first one we've seen. And also something else that is fairly, fairly new. So I have to keep it down there as a gentleman over here on the phone. I don't want to interrupt him. They have the Hammond Collection Dilophosaurus and the Dr. Ellie Sattler. Both of those are running for $12.99, so that is really cool. That's another one of those. Let's go around this corner here and see if they have anything new. Oh, and they do. They've got a few things here. And of course, they've got this big tag here that is covering everything up. So unfortunately, I don't get to see it. But this is really freaking cool, guys. They actually have Dino Tracker stuff out now. And there's a sale going on for things, which is really cool. I'm happy. So far, we have a few new species. They have the Dryptosaurus. And they have... Oh, hopefully you guys can hear me okay. And they have... Yo, car, car, uh, carcaria. I have no idea what that is, but hey, if you guys would, oh, it makes noise. I think I, I don't know what it does, but hey, new dino tracker stuff that is really cool. I don't believe so. They have the Dripto. This is the whatever it is. We're still missing the Diablo Ceratops and the Liplorodon, who is not here. But hey, Dino Tracker things are now in stores and they're running for $17.99. Chronosaurus is what it is. And they actually have a Jeep that is supposed to go here as well. But for thumbnail purposes, I'm going to do something super quick, specifically for thumbnails. And then I will put those right back. All right, this is super exciting, guys. And I am really glad that I randomly just decided to go down the Lego aisle because they have the Sino Tyrannus, which, uh, <laughs> very happy. There's a, there's a scan tag for you guys if you want it, but hey. Yeah, I didn't expect to run into that down here, which is really cool. And then of course I found something else that has been catching my eye lately which are these avatar figure or lego sets which are really cool very excited for the new movie coming out again i know it's like one of those kind of hair miss kind of things where some people love it some people don't but uh as for me i am a lego fan or a avatar fan so that's going to be really cool when that comes out i'm not really all that hooked on the story of it because it's kind of a cliche story but I mean, can you find a movie with cooler creatures than these? I mean, let's see what else. This doesn't show what other sets they have, but I'm very excited for these. I, they had one with the Great Leonopteryx. And then of course there's the giant Bowser. Very, I like that very much. I just don't have the patience to build something that size. Uh, so it is really cool. I always, it's nice to look through the Legos and just see if there's any hidden gems mixed in there. I mean, where else can you go and just buy random Lego train track pieces? And of course, the famous Jurassic Park T-Rex breakout set, which actually, a buddy of mine bought this for me, and it's been sitting in his house waiting for me to pay him back so that we can build it together. Uh, we really, really need to get that done. Course, it's never a fulfilling trip to Target unless you look over here at all of the different pop figures they have and all these really interesting things. They've started coming out with these new Godzillas. This is like a literal transformer Godzilla. I'm not sure what this is supposed to be all about. But he's got like missiles and everything. So it's like a Robo Godzilla, what Godzilla should have been. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm weird. I can't even put the edge just split the pieces like that. But it does not look like we have anything new over here in the way of Jurassic content. So that stinks. They have some cool pop figures as usual. It's about that time when I start shopping for 
Christmas gifts for all the friends and family, so I've got a couple friends that are really big into the pop figures, so better start keeping my eyes out because that time of year is here. This is like the third time I've had to record this because this woman pulled in next to me, getting out and laughing all extremely loud and obnoxious-like to the point where she then proceeded to vomit all over the place. Only in Ohio. So we just had an immense amount of luck. Like, I can't even begin to explain how much luck we just had. It's been a while. It's been a, a hot minute since we've had that much new stuff all at once. I didn't think we were going to find one thing, let alone all that. Uh, I found that the Stegosaurus and I was like, oh, this is really cool. So I took a picture of it for the thumbnail. And then all of a sudden I just go around the corner and there's a bunch more on an end cap, just like people have been saying they've been finding. So that was freaking awesome. And then going down the Lego aisle and then seeing the Sino Tyrant, Simo, Sino Tyrant, Simo Tyrant, I don't know. Um, Finding that was absolutely amazing. I am I miss the days when I could just drop money on stuff like that. But, uh, gosh, I, I do miss having things in my collection. But I've learned my lesson. I'm not going to be buying things and then just selling them a month later or whatever for money. Um, we did find some two new additions to the Hammond Collection series, which was the Dilophosaurus and the Ellie Sattler. So that was really cool. I was this close to getting all the original characters this close but uh we've got a lot of really cool ones on the way uh concavenator jurassic park 3 alan grant with the female velociraptor uh that's another one. Oh gosh there's other dinosaurs coming too uh the geostern bergia is geo oh Look, I'm a dinosaur nerd, but sometimes the names trip me up. Geo Sturmbergia, Geo... Oh, I'm sure someone's sitting there thinking, like, you're an idiot. Anyway, I was thoroughly impressed with this trip. I mean, I try not to do these too often on my lunch breaks, because, you know, it's a lunch break and I need to eat. But uh, running into just, you know, kind of like, hey, let's just stop at Target and see what we can find. This was one of those trips where going on my lunch break, 100% worth it. It was definitely worth what we found and couldn't be happier. I think we did a fantastic job of what we found. Um, if you are a parent and you watch these and your child likes dinosaurs, Jurassic World and everything, now is the time to get in there and start looking. I found all of these at my local Target in Ohio, mind you. It may be different somewhere else. I haven't gone to a Walmart in a hot minute and I haven't gone to a, I, I went to a Meyer. Actually, it was about a month ago coming up. Uh, when I went to Meyer and did that one toy hunt for the holiday, I started off on the 9th of November. So if that tells you anything on, don't necessarily go based off that. It felt like a no more than a month to me. It felt like a few days just to find out. It's been a month almost since I did that first portion of that video. So yeah, fantastic timing on finding these. I'm very excited to get this video up because I want to see how excited you guys are that we found some new stuff. Dino trackers are now showing up in stores. So expect to find, you know, expect to start finding these in your local stores, but expect some more videos where we track down some dino trackers. Very excited to see what comes next. Um, but there are some things I would like to talk to you guys about. I feel bad because I have kind of been in this slump where I've kind of just been like a, you know, ooh, woe is me kind of an, a feeling lately. And I feel kind of bad for that because, you know, you guys aren't here to listen to me whine and complain about, you know, having a bad day. And But it's nice that some of you do care um, when you pop up and say, hey, you know, hope things get better for you. I had someone say, hope things get better for you, champ. Made me feel good. I was having a bad morning at work, got covered in dog poop, but... Having somebody just say that to me was enough to make me feel like, you know, I do got this. Um, some fantastic news. Hopefully some fantastic news. Uh, we, uh, Haley and I, are moving. Yay! Um, this coming Saturday, I am going to be moving over uh, to one of my best, my best friend's house. Here comes that screaming, laughing lady again. Hopefully you guys don't hear uh, that in the background, which you probably will. Um... I'm going to be, Haley and I are going to be moving into his house. He 
lives with his girlfriend, but occasionally stops into the house. So he's renting it out. Um, so we are going to be moving into the house. I will have a hopefully much better recording time. I'll be able to record a little bit louder. I, I can record late at night now, which is really good. I don't have to wait for, you know, like the way everything was, everything was right there where I couldn't do anything. So that's going to be really cool. I'm very excited for that. And hopefully uh, we'll still be able to afford our Disney trip here in May. Things are kind of looking a little scratchy on that um, because, uh, you know, financially things are a little difficult these days. And uh, trying to plan a Disney trip in these times, it's not really that smart, especially the method that I've been going about trying to do it, which is use all of my money from my certain paychecks. I like use one paycheck for bills and adulting, and then the other paycheck I put solely towards the Disney trip to pay it off. So hope that's why I'm kind of racking up some videos here to see if I can start bringing in a little bit more income to help pay for that trip. Because that's the whole point of this YouTube channel was for me to make content and get paid to do so. So can't get paid if I'm not making content. So it's kind of my own fault for not really making that much money lately. So a lot of really exciting things coming up for the future. Haley and I getting our uh, somewhat own place. So that's going to be amazing. And then also we've got the Malta expansion dropping this Thursday on uh, December 8th. So we're going to be covering that live, the uh, all of everything that's in that pack. And then we're also going to be covering all the different animals, all the different skins. We'll do like a, a separate video on that, covering everything there. And then from there, we are going to be going and doing the um, what, what's the, the, the new campaign. We're going to be doing the new campaign. And, uh, so far it's kind of a mixed bag on if I want to do it for a live stream or if I want to do it in episodes. I've had a lot of people say episodes, and then I've had one person say, why not do both? Well, you're right. I could very well do both. So I'm trying to figure out how, oops, sorry, itchy arm, I'm trying to figure out how I want to go about doing that. So that is something to expect this Thursday. I believe 10 a.m. is when I plan on starting it. I'll be up at like 6 in the morning when my fiance gets up to go ahead and start getting the stream set up, get everything ready. If by chance the everything drops a little earlier than 10 a.m., I will probably be starting the live stream a little earlier than 10 a.m. So if you're watching this, just if you've made it to this point in the video, just let me know, hey, I understand it may start earlier than 10 a.m. If you didn't make it this far and I get people commenting, oh, it's early. Hmm. Um, and what we will be doing in the live stream is solely putting all the, the decor, all the buildings out, showing off all those, probably checking out the new map if we're able to without having to do the campaign first. And then we'll do a video where we release all the animals. We will go into the skin section and check out the new skins for some of the original creatures like the Giga the Cantrosaurus, and I want to say the Aronosaurus. So that'll be really cool to check all those out. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here. I want to thank you all so much for the immense support. You guys have been fantastic as always. And to keep an eye out for more content coming up here very soon, because if we found these here at Target, what else is there to find at other stores? We'll have to check out Walmart. We may even have to check out some Myers. But keep your eyes peeled for those. Ew, I don't like saying that. Keep your eyes peeled. Sounds disgusting. Sounds painful. Keep your eyes open on the channel. Keep checking back once in a while. And of course, I'll be posting updates. And keep your eyes open for more updates for the weekend. When we get to, or not the weekend, but for Thursday. When we get closer to the expansion release. Which is I'm so excited for. So, thank you all for watching. I love every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If we can get this video to 500 likes, something really cool is going to happen. I can't tell you what, because I don't know what. But if we can get this video to 500 likes, I'm going to do something special for you guys. Probably a uh, big 30th anniversary special kind of thing, if you catch my meaning. It's going to be really cool. I just winked, and this guy's walking, and I think he thought I was winking at him. Oops. Anyway, thank you guys for the immense support. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. This is Bruno Gamer, signing out.